They're everywhere, right? Inchworms, cankerworms, whatever you call them, a lot of trees in Ontario are under attack. People, too. There's poop everywhere when it rains. It gets slippery. Our daughter slipped in it. Our 90-pound dog has slipped in it. It's just disgusting. There are vast numbers of tent caterpillars in Winnipeg, also disgusting to many. I had to roll my hood up in the back just so they don't fall in there and then get inside into the sweater itself. Many cities spray to control caterpillars. Some that don't are now debating the idea. For some, it's personal. I've been picking per, uh, caterpillar feces out of my hair for the last few days, and no matter how much you scrub and think you get it out, you still feel like it's on you. Still, this spring, the unwanted creature capital of Canada appears to be Winnipeg. This is caterpillar frass, the fancy word for the droppings left by Winnipeg's triple threat of cankerworms, tent caterpillars, and elm spanworms. This is a highly unusual year for us to have three uh, tree pests at the same time. They have cycles every 10 or 15 years, completely natural population explosions, but some suspect climate change may be boosting everything. Yeah, it's a boom bust thing, and this is a kaboom bust. Daniel Brunton is an ecologist who recently drove from Ottawa to Victoria, stunned by the arboreal devastation he saw along the way. Hundreds and hundreds of kilometers of continuous stripped forest. In Toronto's High Park, many black oak trees appear to be in midwinter form in June. In the Swiss cheese. It's total Swiss cheese, <laughs> exactly. Diana Thiel says older trees are the ones most at risk of not recovering. Normally at this time of the year, these canopies of these trees would just be full, and uh, right now they're almost completely defoliated. For people getting fed up, it can't last much longer. In some areas already, the end is near. But some are forecasting it will also be a banner year for... Mosquitoes. Howard Gould, CBC News, Toronto.